Hi, I'm Tom with BFID channel and in this video I will show you a new tool called Veras which is AI powered assistant for creating uh, visualizations. Basically it's not a visualization engine, it's just AI powered assistance which enables you to create nice renderings like this through AI power. This tool basically enables you to start with a Revit viewport like this one that you can see and create a nice visualization out of it with just a few word inputs and then you can explore your design options like here where I have changed the texture of the rocks at the bottom or you can easily change the, the color of your, of your building or you can go completely bonkers and change the completely the style of of the building to a baroque style like this with with the basing massing staying the same so basically in its current form it's a tool for exploring design options really easily and really fast currently it's available for revit as a plugin and it's planned to release it for sketchup and rhino 2 you can easily download the trial which works for 100 renders or you can buy it, it costs $29 per month. So let's jump into Revit and I'll show you how Veras works. I've got this model of a nice modern residence and I've set up one of my views to work with the Veras AI and currently as I'm using the trial version uh, I've set up the view so it's kind of roughly rectangular shape. Now before I start Veras it's important to set up the fine detail level of course for visualization and then uh, I will set it to realistic view. Now let's set up the graphic display options to what Evolve Labs recommends. First off disable show edges and disable all shadows. Then in lighting, set up the lighting to 0 sun, 33 ambient light and 50 shadows. And for the background, select the gradient background and apply all of these changes to your view. Now the viewport is set up, so on the Evolve Lab tab, just click the Start Veras AI. And after it's verified it's me, it opens the Veras window where this is empty and we have to have this view active and here I right click and select show Revit preview so it shows me the basic Revit view so the main setup thing that you do is this creativity strength slider which at its maximum can change this original uh, image a lot Whereas if you decrease it, it changes, it, it changes the image uh, just a little. So I will set it up quite low, like 45 and hit render. And I will let Veras work. And you can see the rendering always takes a few, few minutes, few seconds or maybe a minute. And here you can see because the creativity slide was quite down, 44 is from my experience quite little. It didn't change the original design much, but it just uh, created a nicer, nicer render, basically. What will happen if we stretch the creativity level to, let's say, 95 and hit render again? You will see that it will adjust, uh, adjust the image quite a lot according to what it wants to, what it thinks is better for us. So you can see that it changed the colors, it changes the textures, sometimes it changes even the form. So it's much more creative and not in the trial version, but in, in the commercial version, you can change the number of renderings. So at once it will create, let's say maximum is four versions of this, of this setup. So this is quite nice for the first renderings. Just with basically doing nothing, it creates something much more, uh, much more render-like than my Revit view. I will change the creativity strength to 61 
because the second slider style strength uh, tells Veras how much it should take user prompt into account. So if I wanted to have, let's say, uh, this original this original uh, house just with uh, with yellow walls, so I can I can type in here yellow walls. And I will, let's say, set style strength to 60. So it takes the yellow walls. So you can see that probably I didn't set the creativity strength or style strength enough. I think it's the creative creativity strength. So I will bump up the dials and render again. And you can see that it's uh, that it's basically trial and error. And you will have to you will have to learn how to work with the AI. It's not like um, it's not like working with the rendering engine where it has predictable results. This is kind of you will have to learn how much creativity strength, how much how much style strength, and which uh, words to use. In the meantime, while it's rendering, there are a few switches here. Oh, it's done. So you can see that now it's quite creative and quite. Uh, the style is quite yellow so let's say i wanted to have less crea creativity on the on the form and just the style should be should be like this and let's render again so there are a few switches here first is for interior renders then turbo nature means if you switch on turbo nature it will go bonkers with the with the nature around the around the constructions atmospheric creates atmospheric effects like mist maybe snow and aerial view i'm not sure about so now here you can see that it kind of made it a little bit yellowish up down here but this remained uh, white so this is kind of a problem that I'm currently having with the uh, Veras that I'm unable to do some granular changes on just one part of the of the image. So ideally I would like to let's say lasso select this bottom part and tell Veras to make it make it uh, I don't know gray or black. Uh, but in this way I can just use the overall overall words for for overall image so it's not good for fine fine tuning your renders but it's great for quickly going through uh, quickly going through different design options now let's just try and play delete these words and pump up creativity strength and let's go with turbo nature and let's say Japanese uh, garden let's see what the result will be so here you can see that it not only changed the garden but also the the building style to to kind of a Japanese now let's try some bonkers results so let's change to baroque uh, and let's change the style change and the creativity change and let's render this and you can see in the result that the basic form remained the same but the style is completely completely different so you will very quickly go through different design options and then you can easily click on this folder and see all of your all of your design options that you just went through and save them uh, they are basically saved at the very low resolution 768 by 768 and even in the commercial version it's 1300 by 768 so it's not usable for final renders yet only for only for these design options and going through them uh, going through them quickly so this is one type of work workflow in my point of view when you have quite developed uh, design but where it will be most powerful I think it's uh, just with uh, first massing development when you have only a mass and you could easily then put it into Veras and Veras will create uh, these 
these different possibilities just with the simple mass if you if you bump up the creativity strength what i see would be great for future development and i don't know how easy it is to do or if it's even possible uh, currently uh, veras is working from my understanding only with the with the raster image so sometimes it can get confused uh, when uh, on the image something looks maybe a bit distorted or something like that so here you can see that it read the the form uh, not really well it uh, it here i don't know what it created it moved the window up to here and the window should be here so sometimes when there's confusing geometry on the on the raster image it can confuse veras so it would be great if the ai would somehow understand the basic form of the of the real 3d model that you have in revit i think then it would be much easier to let's say select uh, this part of the of the model and tell it tell veras to have it in a different material also what's not possible right now i think is let's say i disable the baroque so maybe i'm somewhere uh, at this basic design and if i type in change white walls to yellow it doesn't understand input like this or to change the texture of of, of these these rocks i was not successful in in granular control like this you can see that the walls are still white so the question is should all archivists artists be afraid of losing their jobs i don't think so for final renders or fine granularity and changing renders according to what the client wants uh, this is not applicable yet also human creativity will not be replaced by ai so easily i think but archivist artists will definitely have to learn how to work with these ai enhancing uh, visualization programs because veras is the first but i have no doubt that uh, soon other companies will follow uh, with creating similar tools and i see quite a lot of development in this area but veras is definitely revolutionizing the exploration of design options and it's also democratizing it because um, now even architects which don't know how to how to create renderings can create output like this so there's no need for outsourcing this work when i imagine how much time it would get 10 years ago to create basic concept visualizations like these i mean it would take hours and days and now with just one click you can change the visualization from day to night change the color change the basic uh, basic scheme so kudos to the evolve lab team for being on the cutting edge of what's possible with today's technology but also for thinking about how to apply this technology for the needs of architects take care and see you in the next one